Sometimes we're given what are called mixed numbers, where there's a whole number and a fraction after it. Now three and a half means three whole pieces and an extra half. Now the three whole ones can be seen in the following way. The first whole one is two halves, then another two halves, then another two halves. So altogether there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven halves. So three and a half as a mixed number is the same as seven halves as a top heavy fraction. Now sometimes you're asked to convert a mixed number into a top-heavy fraction. And there's a quick way of doing it. Now observe in the first one that 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So again, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 equals 7. And that is where the numerator of the fraction comes from. The 2 is kept the same. So in this one, 10 times 3 is 30, plus the 2 is 32. So it's 32 all over 3. So again, to get the top, we did 10 times 3 is 30, and add the 2 is 32. And the bottom stays the same. Now we can also go the other way around, which is going from top heavy to mixed. Now 5 over 2 means 5 halves, so we've got 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves, 4 halves, 5 halves, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 halves. So we can therefore see that this is the same as 2 whole ones plus an extra half. So 5 halves is the same as 2 and 1 half. But there's a way of doing this without drawing diagrams. Observe that if we said to ourselves, how many 2's are there in 5? Well, there are two 2's in 5, remainder 1. So if asked to convert this fraction into a mixed number, the question is, how many 5's are there in 18? Well, 5, 10, 15. There are three fives in 18, but there's a remainder of three. So it's three and three fifths. So we can convert from mixed to top heavy, and from top heavy to mixed.